Hello, my name is Georgios Kokolakis, and I'm the head of the Clinical Trial Center for Psoriasis and HS at the University Clinic Charité in Berlin. I have participated in several clinical trials with Vimekizumab, and I'm the first author of this paper. This continuation of biologics among patients with psoriasis due to loss of response or side effects is common, and to improve disease management, patients and clinicians may commonly decide to change the biologic. So in this manuscript, we aim to evaluate the efficacy and safety through two years of treatment among patients who switched to Bimekitzumab from Atalimumab, Hustekinumab and uh, Cyclokinumab. In the B-Sure trial, patients that were randomized to Atalimumab, they switched to Bimekitzumab at week 24. Whilst in the BVVIT trial, the patients that were randomized for Ustekinumab, they changed to Bimekizumab at week 52. In the B radiant trial, patients randomized to Secokinumab, they were re randomized to Bimekizumab at week 48. Patients included here were randomized to Atalimumab, Ustekinumab, and Secokinumab at the B sure, B vivid, and B radiant trials and enter the overlapping extension. For efficacy endpoints, analysis were reported by uh, PASI 90 response status at the time to switch to Bimekizumab. And we analyzed this data using the modified non responder imputation model or the non responder imputation or observed case model. So in this manuscript, we report the efficacy outcomes in terms of clear or almost clear skin, means PASI 90, PASI 100, IGA 0 to 1, PSA less than 1% and absolute PASI less than 2. And we also look on the quality of life of the patients and we report the DLQI values. And of course, we also recorded the safety, so the adverse events, the serious adverse events and the adverse events that they led to the discontinuation. Among antalimumab, ustekinumab, and secokinumab randomized patients who did not achieve a PASI 90 at the time of the switching to bimekizumab, clinical responses rapidly improved after switching and demonstrate a durable improvement in PASI 90, PASI 100, and IGA 0 to 1, as well as PSA less than 1. And these improvements sustained for at least 48 weeks after switching to bimekizumab. Among patients who achieved PASI 90 prior to switching to Bimekizumab, PASI 90 and IJ0 to 1 and PSA less than 1% responses were sustained for at least 48 weeks after switching. And patients saw increased rates of PASI 100 as early as 8 weeks after switching to Bimekizumab. And these increases were sustained for at least 48 weeks after the change of the therapy. I invite you to see the full manuscript for the DLQI values. Exposure adjusted incidence rates of the adverse events that we recorded didn't increase over the time of the therapy with Mimekizumab after switching from the comparators. And the most commonly reported uh, treatment emergent adverse events were nasopharyngitis, oral candida infections, upper respiratory tract infections, and the urinary tract infections we didn't see any new safety findings concerning bimekizumab. And you can refer to the film manuscript to see the further details of the safety. So patients who didn't adequately respond to the treatment with adalimumab, ustekinumab, and secokinumab in the b Bivivid, and B-Radiant phase 3, 3 to b trials achieved very rapid improvements and high levels of clinical responses after switching to bimekizumab. Clinical responses were maintained or further improved in patients with an existing treatment response on a prior biologic, and switching to bimekizumab was well tolerated with no new safety findings. Thank you very much for watching this video.